Do you know what the most disgusting smell in the world is? <laughs> no, 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 no. no. Uh, that, that's the worst thing I've ever smoked in my life. <laughs> is it cheese? Maybe it's feet. Maybe it's farts. No, the most disgusting smell in the world is so much worse than any of those. It's even been used as a weapon. Let's find out about these military miasmas. Sniff out these stinking facts and see if we can make the worst stink bomb the world has ever smelled. It might surprise you to know that there's actually a Guinness World Record for the world's smelliest substance. In fact, there are two, probably because they were so smelly that no one could quite make their mind up. The Gold Medal of Smells is awarded to who? Me? That is actually its name. And it was made by US scientists for French resistance fighters to use against the Germans in World War II. And that went as well as you could probably imagine, because as anyone who has ever farted will know, Smells do not care who they target. So the French ended up stinking themselves out as much as they did the Germans. The second award in the Smellympics goes by the rather snappy name of US government standard bathroom mm -hmm. malodor. This smell was made to smell like the most disgusting toilets as a way to test air cleaning products, with the idea being that if the products could clean up that smell, then they must be pretty good at their job. However, when they started testing the product with people, they realized that some people actually rather liked the smell, with one person saying they would actually spray it on themselves as perfume. So we can't actually say that either of those smells is officially the most disgusting. But why? Surely there is a way to judge which smell is officially the worst. Well, it's all a little bit more complicated than that because smell is literally in the nose of the beholder. So what is smell? Well, smell is basically all to do with chemicals and molecules and how our brain interprets them. So every item is giving off certain chemicals. So be that your jumper, your armpits, your dog, your smelly sock. And these molecules can move through the air. These particles float around and go up your nose when you breathe. And they can interact with smell receptors. Each and every single odor molecule has a slightly different shape or structure, and so interacts with these smell receptors slightly differently. Based on these unique teeny tiny differences between odor molecules, your brain interprets the smell differently. So why do we react to certain smells as disgusting if smells are just our brain reacting to molecules in the air? After all, there are no good or bad molecules. Well, the way we react to smells is actually a mixture of our genes and our previous experiences. You hate the smell of rotten food, not because the rotting food molecules are bad, but because your brain has evolved to react negatively to any sign of rotting food to stop you from eating it and getting sick. Whereas animals that like to eat rotting food, like flies and rats, they actually love the smell of rotting food. You can also learn to hate a smell. So say one day you eat an egg and it makes you sick. Then, going forwards, just the smell of eggs might make you disgusted because your brain has linked that smell to being sick that one time. So now that you know the science, the official worst smell in the world was made in 1998 by US scientist Pam Dalton. She was asked by the military to make a stink weapon that could clear riots. So what she did is she took the two Guinness World Record-breaking stenches and just mix them together in a fragrance of delights that she called stench soup. And the reason why mixing bad smells together is so potent is because it prevents something known as olfactory fatigue. Let me explain. Your nose is great at smelling things, but it can also get bored. So if it smells the same smell over and over again, you actually can stop smelling it. So if you've ever known anyone who has bad breath, but they can't smell it themselves, that is olfactory fatigue in action. 
So let's use this science of olfactory fatigue to mix together the stinkiest stink bomb we've ever known. With stench soup, the secret was to combine some of the world's most disgusting smells together. So some genius thought it would be a good idea if we recreated this. And um, we've got Joe here. Hi, Joe. Hi. <laughs> now, Joe is blindfolded because Joe is going to smell some of the most disgusting smells we could find before we add them all together into this jar to create our own stench soup. 2.0. Even if you can get hold of the stuff, do not try at home or anyone else's home. Now you've got to guess what this is. Where is it? <laughs> no, 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 no. How bad out of 10 would you rate this? Uh, that, that's the worst thing I've ever smoked in my life. <laughs> it's 10. So do you know what it is? It's the herring, the tinned herring. Oh my God. It's the tinned herring and this is going into, okay. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna put all the all the juice in as well. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, no. <laughs> sort of like quite farty. Fart dog, farty. Dog pooey. Bit dog pooey. This is um liquid fart spray. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm gonna put a few sprays in here. Sort of a familiar smell. Okay, up next. That one's not as bad. No, this is, this is. Oh, I'm starting to get more of it now. It's starting, <laughs> it's starting to power through the fart spray. Is it, is it cheese? It is cheese. You're sniffing away and not get anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In this goes. Oh, you don't Ooh. want splash back from that. All right, another smell. Let's go for this one. Any guesses what it might be? Like uh, I'm not sure. That's a, it's a weird smell. It smells a bit like. Oh! oh. No, nothing like that. <laughs> milk? Like gone off milk? Gone off milk. Ah, uh, it's egg. We're almost there. We're almost there. You'll be pleased to hear. We've got one, one left to go. Mm. Coming up. Oh, that's the worst. I'm going to go rotten shellfish. Close. This is rotten chicken. Oh, no. Um, so that is going into our stench soup. Oh, this is absolutely gross. Oh. OK, so that is our stench soup 2.0 complete. Oh, that is disgusting. Isn't it? Give it a bit of a... Oh. Stir. There's one thing left to do. We've got to smell it. We've got to smell them all together. I'm not doing that. Tom, <laughs> swap. Swap for me. Tom, swap. That is a great idea. Yeah, because yeah, you would be laughing. No, you would be laughing all that entire time. <laughs> You're enjoying that, Joe. <laughs> that is, that is, I'm going to go first. That is easily the worst thing I've ever smelled. I'm actually. Oh, 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 that lid is going back on. I, I really would not try this at home. <laughs> but I think what we found is that when you combine bad smells together, the actual combined smell is much worse than all their individual parts. And it's just absolutely gut-wrenchingly disgusting. Why? <laughs> Why can't we do the world's nicest smells instead?